And we're back. Part two of this particular lesson. I think we've got at least some of the tech problems figured out. We'll go from there. All right. So the next piece we're going to look at is your question number two in the same set of notes here. Um, so we've got this guy here, a more complicated question. So an electron at rest is accelerated east by a potential difference of 1.7 times 10 to the power of three volts. All right. So now with an electron that automatically tells us off your data sheet, you are going to have your mass. Now, for those of you who don't remember, here's your data sheet and you have your mass of your charged particles up here. Okay. And you also have your charges of your charged particles here. And you find your um, elementary charge right over here. Okay. So your mass of your electron is 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 kilograms. And your charge of an electron is negative 1. Point, maybe I should look that up. That might help. Six zero times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulombs. Okay. And is accelerated to the east. That's going to come in handy when we draw our direction with a potential difference of your 1.7 times 10 to the power of 3 volts. All right, the electron is after that, it's going to enter a magnetic field that is going to have a value of 0.25 Tesla. And that is going to be directed south. What is the magnetic force acting on the electron? Okay, a lot involved with this question, guys. So as always, we draw. Okay. And think about what's happening first this electron. It's being accelerated by a potential difference. So we're going to have a set of parallel plates. So let's, let's draw some plates here. Now it is being accelerated keyword east. So when we draw our parallel plates, we want to make sure that our electron is going to be going to the east. This way is going to be east for our purposes. Okay. So if I'm going to be accelerating this guy east, I'm going to have to have a positively charged plate here. And I'm going to have negatively charged plates or plate except with a hole in it. You know what? Let's actually draw my charges in the correct location, shall we? That might make a little bit of a difference. Okay, this is really hard to draw on this, guys. There we go. Okay. So let's fix our plates here. Okay. There we go. We're going to have our negatively charged plate here because we're trying to accelerate an electron. It's going to go away from that. And we're going to have our positively charged plates here with a gap for our electron to go. So the electron is going to be accelerated by these plates and then he's going to scoot through here as he's accelerated east. He's then going to go through a magnetic field and it says here our magnetic field is directed south. Because your arrows in a magnetic field point from north to south, you're going to have to have a magnetic field with a north end here and a south end here. So your electron is going to be going this way and let's draw, I don't know, make blue field lines are going to be going that way. Okay. So that is going to be how our electron is going to go. So we got two steps we got to do here. So we're trying to find what the strength of this magnetic field is here. So let's look at what we got. We want eventually to find our FM is equal to our lovely Q V B perpendicular. So we're trying to find this guy here. That's what we, excuse me, let's try again. We're trying to find this guy here. 
okay? And we have this guy here of our electron. Well, we have an issue here. We don't have that. So let's, let's start. Oh, wait, we do have that. Never mind. It's Monday, guys. It's Monday. Okay, we have this. We don't have V. So let's go and find V. Now, we're trying to find the V of this electron as he's going to go into that field. So as he's going to go into the field, it's going to be the VF right around here, that final velocity. Now, we have delta V, okay? So if you come to your data sheets, lovely data sheets that they are, you are going to see we have this equation here, okay? I'm going to touch the camera so you guys can see it. Okay, this guy. Now, this guy here, ladies and gentlemen, is what we want. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. There. Okay. Now, okay, now we have delta E, delta V. We have the value of Q, which is the charge of your electron, but we need delta E. So now let's think about this. Delta means change in, right? And the type of energy we're talking about is kinetic energy of this electron. It's starting from rest, and then it's going to be accelerated through these plates. Now, because our delta E, scroll down, there you go. Because your delta E is going to be dealing with kinetic energy, my delta V is going to equal my EK initial, or final, excuse me, minus my EK initial. And then we that's still being divided by my Q. Now, we're starting from rest, right? Because we are starting from rest, our, our initial kinetic energy is going to be zero joules. So I can just cancel that right out of there, make my life easy. So... Delta V is now going to equal one half MVF squared. Still divide by Q. With me so far? Cobains. All right. Scroll down some more. Okay. So now I will be able to find my final velocity here. So let's rearrange this. I'm going to multiply both sides by Q in order to cancel that out and move that Q over. So my one half mv squared is going to equal delta V times Q. I am then going to multiply both sides by two in order to get rid of that half. And then I'm going to divide out M. Okay, so I'm left with V squared is going to equal delta VQ, we'll put the 2, yeah, so 2 delta VQ divided by M. Okay, I then need to square root both sides, so square root the lot, and now I'll be able to find my final speed. Okay, so final speed for those parallel plates, not final speeds in total. Okay, so final speed after coming out of those parallel plates, which means it's going to be the speed of that particle going through the magnetic field. Okay, so let's get the pen feature back again. And so my speed is going to equal 2 times my delta V, which is my 1.7 times 10 to the power of 3 volts. I'm going to charge, multiply that by my 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. And bracket that, so I've got all my brackets closed. I'm then going to divide this by my mass. So 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31. And then I square root the lot, okay? So 
once I have square, whoopsie, there we go. Once I have square root of the lot, I'm going to get my speed, which is going to be, so I can write this neatly here, two, four, four, three, six, five, seven, zero meters per second. Use that whole number, ladies and gentlemen, in your calculation for the next part of the question. Excuse me. All right. No coronavirus, just a sneeze. Okay. So now we have our speed, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So I'm going to scroll back up here. And we are going to use said speed in order now to go back and calculate our magnetic force. Okay. So I'm just going to do this in blue. So then that way we're working on a different column and it's a bit easier for you guys to see. So your force magnetic is going to equal Q V times B perpendicular. Okay. Now we are going to put our numbers in here. Now our charge is still going to be our 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And we're gonna multiply that by our lovely massive number from previous. Uh, you're gonna use your whole value in your calculator. So your two, four, four, three, six, five, seven, zero. Please forgive the writing on an angle. And then we're gonna multiply that by our B, which is 0 0.25. Thank goodness it's a small number because I am out of space. Okay, so multiply all of those together and you're going to wind up with your magnetic force. Okay, so your final answer, sig digs, is going to be your 9.77 times 10 to the power of your negative 13 newtons. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, force is a vector. I want direction with my vectors. So therefore, what you're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to use our hand rules. Jazz hands, yay. Okay, scroll up back to our initial diagram here. Now this is an electron, so what hand do you use? Left hand, so take your left hand. Thumb is your direction of the electron, the way it's moving. So the electron's going this way through the field. And now your force is going this, or your, your field is going from north to south. So that means the deflection is going to be towards my face. So out of the plane of the page, okay? All right. Eh. There we go. So ladies and gentlemen, we are going to jump back over to our pen tool here and we are going to write our direction as out of page. Box your final answer so I know what you want me to mark. Help me help you get the most marks possible. All right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is that lovely lengthy question. And so now what you're going to do is you are going to stop the video because I'm going to be ending this video momentarily. We'll do part three of this lesson coming up. And you are going to do the practice problems that are here, your page 150 questions. I'll give those a shot. And then I've also got a bunch, oops, it closed out on me. There we go. Let's open this. There we go. Scroll down. Yeah, of course, I deleted all the notes. Thank goodness we finished the calculations at that time. So work on these guys here. Work on these practice problems. Um, the answers are there, so give those a shot. And then when you are ready, next video. Talk to you soon. All right, now we need to stop this thing. Come on. There we go. See you later.